After all, Odyssey is based on the Accord, and the Accord just got a V6. Finally. Yes, it too was a long time coming, but we can tell you it was well worth the wait. Under a gas strut supported hood that is about three inches longer than other Accords is a new version of the 2.7 liter V6 that powered the first generation Acura Legend. Attached to a new four-speed automatic, the 170 horsepower V6 catapults the Accord from Yeoman family sedan into the realm of mere luxury cars. It gets there fast too, 0 to 60 in 7.7 seconds, or almost two seconds faster than the four-cylinder Accord. The suspension has also been tweaked to carry the V6 Accord's extra 144 pounds. Anti-lock brakes are standard on both the $22,300 LX V6 and the $24,950 EX V6, with the top model also gaining a sunroof and leather interior. Like the Odyssey, the Accord V6 gets our full road test treatment soon. But it's obvious that Honda is moving to broaden its product lineup, cementing their role as an automaker that designs cars with Americans as primary buyers. Has stood as a testament to the design genius of Honda engineers. So when the marketing gurus demanded that the top come off, the engineers made every effort to preserve the handling qualities of their masterpiece. To that end, they added extra reinforcements to almost a dozen key chassis components, including side sills, the A and B pillars, and the floor. The engineers also mastered a deceptively simple top mechanism. It requires you to just flip two latches to remove the lightweight panel, which is then stored in a special cradle beneath the rear glass. Yet even without the roof, the NSX-T is almost as rigid as the original NSX and weighs only 95 pounds more. From our first test drive, we were hard-pressed to find the body flex that we've come to expect in open cars. Even when hustled hard on our favorite roads, the NSX-T was still pure NSX, light, solid, and superbly balanced, but plenty loud. Heavy turbulence in the cockpit made conversation almost impossible at any speed. To find out how solid the NSX-T was at the limit, we headed for the more demanding environment of Pennsylvania's Pocono International Raceway, and were delighted to find that, except for a slight increase in front plow when entering tight corners, the NSX-T remains an unflappable mid-engine machine, and a quick one as well. Our heavier open-top NSX matched the standard car's 5.7 seconds 0 to 60 and ran a quarter mile of 14.1 seconds at 101 miles per hour, only two tenths slower. The NSX's 3-liter dual overhead cam 24-valve V6 is responsible for all of that. Its 270 horsepower and 210 pound-feet of torque are produced by a collection of Acura's most advanced components. Everything from variable valve timing to titanium connecting rods. And controlled by both a clever electronic traction control system and a good old-fashioned five-speed manual shifter, one that's both light and accurate. A new sport shift automatic with steering wheel gear flipper is also available. But any automatic looks out of place in a cockpit like the NSX's. Its no-nonsense approach is a proper sports car environment. With all the proper sports car features, such as a comprehensive gauge package, supportive bucket seats that hold you firmly in place during hard cornering, and dash controls that are designed to provide minimal distraction from the serious business of driving. But if you like to drive long distances, the five cubic foot trunk does allow you to take along a change of clothes. And if you're going to get your money's worth from the NSXT, you should drive it a lot. Equipped with a manual transmission, it goes for a steep $81,000. Add the automatic, and the price jumps to an only slightly more extravagant $84,500.